again, we have been greatly blessed and inspired and generated and, and uh, blessed.
was observed by King Solomon. He had potential, but he also had spunk. And uh, um, he became one of at least three who were named who rose up against King Solomon. He was the son of Solomon's servant. Um, there's always somebody who think they have a better idea. However, for some reason or another, the text reveals that Solomon as the captain over a portion of Joseph's people. But it um, didn't go so well. And uh, when Solomon came into the recognition that he had messed up terribly, and that God was going to rend the kingdom out from under him and his lineage. Solomon was also made aware that in this splitting of the kingdom that God was going to give portion to his servant. And got a little riled up about that and somehow or another that word must have gotten to Jeroboam, and Jeroboam left Jerusalem. And he ended up in Egypt. And uh, stayed there until he got word that Solomon was dead. He's back in. Solomon died and went to Shechem to make Rehoboam the son of Solomon the new king. And the people went and approached Rehoboam the son of Solomon to request of him and Jeroboam was in the crowd according to the text. They asked him Lighten our load. Lighten the Solomon was a strict king. And uh, Rehoboam said, Give me three days. Rehoboam went and consulted with the older people. And they told him, If you lighten the load with the people and serve the people, love the people, speak to the people they'll say to me. In other words, be nice. And uh, then he went to his peer. His peer said, no, no, you're telling them your finger is going to be here Right. And told 
here while you take ten pieces of this. And he, and he told him, said, the Lord going to give you the ten tribes of Israel. That was a word from the Lord. And uh, so, so when when the people came to him to ask him to be king, it really wasn't something new. He had already been told that there was going to be a split. You understand? And the reason is because Rehoboam listened to the wrong people. Sometimes when you listen to the wrong people, it ends up being a split. He thought, I guess, he needed to help God out. 
to secure himself as the king of Israel. So he said, I will uh, have two golden calves made. And that was not the God of the people of Israel. That was the God of the people of Egypt. Egypt worshipped the cow. That's one of the reasons why Moses, when he went to Pharaoh, said, let us go on a three-day journey. Out of sight of the Egyptians because they were going to sacrifice bulls. And if you kill a bull in front of the Egyptian, you were just about ready to die. <laughs> so Jeroboam has two golden calves made. And he put one of them in Dan, and the other one he put in Bethel. And then he says to the people, uh, you all been going to Jerusalem uh, to worship? You got to uh, get your animals together. You got to find a way to load them up. You got to take that travel. You got to take breaks. Make sure you don't wear your animals out before you get to Jerusalem. And when you get to Jerusalem, you got to go through all that procedure of getting the animals dressed and ready and all of that. The end, you got to fall with that too much. Too much. Your religion is costing you too much. And so what I'm doing, I'm going to ease it up for you. Make it convenient for you. We got a cow over in the golden calf over in Dan for those in the most of some section there. Closer to Dan and another one in Bethel for those who are close to Bethel. You won't have a far to go. It'll be easy on you. Yeah. Because you 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 spending too much time. Yeah. Uh -huh. Too much effort. You're working too hard. You're going too far. Taking too much of your time. It's too much. That was it. You wanted to make it easy for me. But then you know that was what that 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 easy street didn't die with Jeroboam. Many people prefer that which is easy. Yes, and the idea of the word sacrifice is not in that book. Yes, they, they want it easy. But you know, in every walk of life, it seems people want it easy. It robs us of our greatest potential when we want only that which is easy. People have become so spoiled. They want it easy. But no athlete who makes their way to the top gets there by going the easy route. Am I right there? They've got to spend time and discipline themselves to a kind of regiment to develop themselves and to, and to, and to perfect whatever their craft is. They've got to spend time with it. You don't have to wake up and decide you're going to be this and be a champion. You've got to work at it. It's also true in the area of education. That student who makes the honor roll and gets a scholarship has to spend time studying, reviewing, and self-disciplining themselves to give themselves to that study. And, 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 and give themselves to that study. And give themselves to that study. That they may master the material 
to be able to score high on the examinations and tests. It is so economically. A person who will amass wealth must labor. If not manually, then, then shall we say mentally. You, you know, but some people want the easy way. They want the easy way. They want, they want, they want, they, they'll fall for a swindle in a minute. Because they think you can hit the jackpot. <laughs> Am I right there? Many people, many people, many people think they don't score. Yeah. Think they don't get lucky. Yeah. <laughs> Am I right there? <laughs> they, they, that job is making their way to the
question. And here's the question. What did God would say to me?